What is up, everyone? This is Pyotr, and in this video, I'll be playing as the Soviet Union and showing you, like, what it takes to get off to a good start and playing, like, sort of historically, but there are some things we'll do differently. Like, namely, uh, we won't we won't be invading Romania, we won't be invading Turkey. Uh, it's just, I don't think it's necessary for what I'm doing. But anyway, so to get started, I'll start with the regular here, research slots. So, yeah, we only have three to start with, that's too bad. But we'll just do the regular things here, so, um, got our industry, construction... And with the final one here, we'll do research speed, so that's all nice. And then for the civilian factories, I'm, we're going to build a ton more. And I think to start, I'm not going to build them near the border. I'm going to only build them where I think we won't be pushed back to. So this looks kind of safe here. I think we can save this land. But uh, everything else, we're going to want to build more. And I'll favor the areas with um, higher infrastructure first. Although it's not, uh, it's not really great. So we'll just build a ton everywhere and hope for the best. So, yeah... And maybe all these little, like, arctic kind of, like, these won't be built too efficiently, but I'll just start building them, and then it'll all be less things to click on later. So that's great. And, like, the ones up here, they'll take longer to build. There's no infrastructure. Like, all the workers are freezing to death. But uh, but that's okay. It's all for the glory of Mother Russia, so they're, um, we appreciate their sacrifice. And that's good enough for now. So, yeah, this is, this is over above and beyond. It would also, like, building infrastructure first is also a good idea, but uh, this just, uh, we'll have a ton. We won't have to worry about that for, like, a few years. So that's awesome. Military factories. I know uh, we're going to be short a ton of guns, so I want to avoid Stalingrad. I'll just, let me fill that up with the full 15 there and see how that works. Put a bunch on. Yeah, we'll need support equipment. We'll need artillery. I don't, uh, what else are we making here? Get these trains out. And it looks like, yeah, maybe I'll take some of these off because we might, uh... These, yeah, these little light tanks I don't care too much about, but I just want to start building everything. And anti-air, that'd be a good one. And I think, yeah, four on each of these is nice. Maybe I'll put a couple on, yeah, the small... These fighters aren't great, but I think they'll be nice to have. So maybe I'll take a couple off guns here, and I think this is... Yeah, this is good. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that'll be good to start. And for our national focus, we're going to rush... Like, well, we're playing historical, so we'll stick with uh, Papa Stalin. But we're going to rush the, um, like, I want to get rid of that Great Purge ASAP. So to do that, we need to start over here. And yeah, if you're not familiar with the Soviet Union, like, this is, it looks really crazy. But uh, doing this will get rid of, like, half that tree. So we'll just start with that. And get to press play. So let's see. Uh, insufficient resources. It's like, yeah, we're short some rubber. I think, uh, what can we do about that? Maybe. Let's see. We're also, yeah. So we I see we have zero convoys. So anything, um... If we're going to trade with someone, I think they'll need to be, like, adjacent to us, or, like, they'll need to be a land route. So I'm not sure... Okay, yeah, yeah I did... F I was going to do the British Raj, but it looks like we can trade with France somehow. So I guess maybe there's a land route up there, but... That's good for now. And beautiful first one down. So, yeah, this just gives us some political power. That's not really too exciting. But yeah, we'll stick, uh, we'll stick with Stalin here. And I also like how the center is on the left. Like, it's just kind of, it's like, why is the left in the center and the center and the right is where it should be, but... Oh well, so we'll stick with the center here, and then this will enable us to edit, um... Okay, the NKDB divisions. So, there were a bunch of divisions here. Like, let's take a look. Um... Yeah, see, so these two have the same symbol. I don't like that. When I take a look, it's all these are kind of useless. These are, like, military police divisions out in the field, so... We definitely don't need them. I'll just... So it's better in my head. I know they're military police. still changes to the pig logo. And yeah, so I know they're all pigs. Now, so I'll send all these... Yeah, the pigs will need to be... They'll be changed. Like, these divisions, I don't like them. Because they've got... Uh, they have support equipment. They're not support equipment. Like, they got the military police. And that's really... That's useless on the field. That's really only needed for garrisons. So I'm going to want to change all those. And yeah, maybe I'll just... I'll like send them off to the side for now. But we'll have actual plans for them later. Yeah, the center, perfect. So now we can, we can now edit those divisions. And what do I want now? So yeah, I want to rush down. This here is the um, the purge, so I want to do that ASAP. So I know I need to start with this. Let's do it. And the Rhinelander militarized. Yep, can't do much about that. And this is what, Turkey? They want control of the Bosphorus. Well, I don't know about that. Let's... Yeah, so this is like a choice. Do you want to you get 5% war support and maybe Turkey will be angry? Or just let them do whatever they want. I'm going to say we'll take the war support. Turkey can be angry. And I know we're playing historical. They're not going to go to war with us. So that's all great. And in the meantime, I see a bunch of all my army here. I'll start moving up. Because we're going to want to... 
we have a lot to reorganize. And also I know playing historical that this entire front here doesn't really matter. Like I'll keep, I think Japan has an event where they try to they initiate like a little border skirmish. So maybe I'll keep a few there. But overall, it's really not a big deal. Like they're, um, we don't need anyone over there. Okay, so now we have the paranoia system is now active. And more research, sure. But let's check this out here. So yeah, if you're unfamiliar with the paranoia system, basically it's Stalin is, he's paranoid. He's doing the Great Purge. He thinks everyone's out to get him, which may or may not be true. But basically, um, it starts at zero, and at the maximum is 100, and it keeps ticking up 2% per week. But what what is this? What's ticking up? So when it gets above 25, bad things can happen. So for all we care about for now, keep this below 25, and we're good. And yeah, and then if it, it, if it exceeds 25, then uh, you might start to see some generals leave, some bad things will happen. And if it gets even further, like above 75, then we might start a civil war. So we want to keep... Stalin nice and happy, not paranoid, and everyone's lives will be better. And I was taking a look at these divisions here, so I can see... Alright, another one down here. And what is this I see? Okay, so yep, Great Purge, let's rock and roll. And I, yeah, I want to rush all those Great Purge stuff ASAP. And if, do I want Dispersed or Concentrated? I'll go, uh, I'll go with Dispersed here, because that's... I think we're, our factories are going to be getting bombed by Germany. We're going to be making a lot of different items that might be useful to have all those little bonuses for switching. And modify the government. So for my first person here, do I want a popular figurehead? I think our stability is really awful. So going for that popular figurehead, I think that's a good idea. Like, I'm not sure if mathematically it's the best, but the stability helps with like a lot of little things in the background. So it's just going to make us make it a lot easier to manage. And hopefully that'll improve Stalin's mental health. So, all right, first Moscow trial. So this is, we're losing some people, like we're losing some of our personnel, like generals and whatnot, but we, we need to do this because it's Stalin, so we need to get down this. So I want to continue down here. However, I need to wait 175 days, so we'll do some more focuses in the meantime. Uh, which one first? I see some of these decrease. Uh, okay, we're good for paranoia. Let's do, uh, I'm going to address some internal affairs, get more stability. That's all nice. And this is great. So yeah, I think we can edit these now. So all these, yeah, if I see these police divisions here, I'm going to change them to uh, the regular infantry. Which if we saw this, it's just, this is just some guys and artillery. Which is, this is not great. We're going to have to do more with it. But it's better than, uh, like, we don't need military police out on the field. And what now? Well, radio, sure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, taking care of that research lot, that'll be another priority. And I'm also, if I see any armor, I'm going to put them in their own separate little units here. Because I'll want to maybe reorganize those later. And I'm just going to change everyone I can see here to the regular infantry. Except, yeah, I'll move the armor away, but everyone else can change. Okay, internal affairs. So let's check out, I see I'm at 10% political paranoia. I might want to do something about that. So let's, uh, I see this one here will decrease the paranoia by 10 and I still have a lot of time for the next focus, so let's just do that. And we are moving along. So all these here, yeah, it looks like there's no... I have no armor to move out, so let's just change all these to the new division. Well, it's not a, it's not a new division, but it's, it's my favorite division out of the existing ones. And now all these guys are not trained, so I'll start training them. And that'll eat up some guns, but I think we're making a lot more. So yeah, we're short 14,000 guns, that's a lot. However, it'll be sorted out in 150 days, so we're making a ton here, and that'll keep improving with all the stuff we're doing. So, move these tanks away. Not really, I'm just thinking of little, like, staging areas, kind of, but it's all fine. And I know this is going to eat up, like, I don't have the guns for this, but we'll be making them. And moving along. So now, what is this? We're at 10% paranoia. Um, I could forge some satisfactory production reports. But that'll, uh, that takes down, like, it could reduce up to 20 paranoia, so I can wait a little bit for that and make full use of it. Uh, what's something else I could do? Get more stability? Yeah, I think that's a good one to have. 70 days. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of time to prepare here. So I'll do, yeah, the new Soviet woman. I guess we make the women happier, and that makes the country precisely 10% more stable, so 
I guess that's how it worked, but... Yeah, I don't know. If, if you're a Hearts of Iron player, you would have no idea, so... I don't know, but we'll just carry on. Now... So yeah, all of our all of our armor here are kind of setting them aside. All these like mountain, the special forces mountain units. So I don't really, don't really care too much about those. So like that, they'll be nice to have. I'm sure we can find uses, but I'll just make them a regular one we like here. Yeah, perfect. So looks like we have 70 days. So is this 70 days? Yep. And it'll reduce the paranoia by a bit. So that's great. Let's do that. I think I'm actually just going to, while this uh, ticks up in the background, I'll reduce all this paranoia because it's getting, it was getting closer to 25. So that took, um, that took some political power. We won't be able, I forged some production reports. So basically we're like, yeah, Stalin, everything's fine. I just crossed some, crossed some T's, dot some I's, but that's going to be, we can only do that so often. And what is this now? An embargo on Italy? Uh, yeah, that's the right thing to do. So we get more stable. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. So yeah, I guess Italy's war, Ethiopia was going so terrible. Oh, that is going terrible. Yeah, it's like October of 36. So that's really, yeah, not so good for Mussolini. And now because of that, yeah, Italy got embargoed. So that sucks. But we don't really care. That's far from us. So I see I have a ton of political points here. I'm going to partially mobilize. Uh, that's really good. So we can make more use out of our, um, like we'll get some construction bonuses. Just we'll get more factories to use. So now we can build, let's see this here. 15. Okay, so yeah, we're building two at once. And I think I'm also going to add... What else can I do here? The Captain of Industry? Okay, that'll be good. So all these... Um, all the civilian factories, that's 10% quicker building speed, so that's great. And what have we here? So right now, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking of how can I manage this giant front line, because we're going to have a lot of stuff to do there. And approaching the end of 36 here. So... We do better artillery. Yeah, that's uh, like making anti tanks would be good. I know Germany's gonna have a ton of those. And doing decent for air stuff. Might as well just get this done. And we're looking good. Change these horses into men. Centaurs. And beautiful. And yeah, if I see any of these little piggies hanging out, we'll just change them into a regular division here. So that's, that's great. And we're going to need to train all these, so we'll have a ton of people to train. Perfect. So now, it says, um, like, this is blocked out now, but it's, like, the same amount of days. So if I just wait one day, yeah, now we can do it. So let's pause here, and beautiful. So moving further down that Great Purge. And radio's done, what next? So yeah, it's approaching, we're getting really close to 37, so I'm just going to bite the bullet. It's a 2% penalty to research, but I don't care, let's just do it. more folks here that are untrained so this is all the training is going to eat up a ton of guns however uh let's see here like i think we're going to be yeah we're going to break even very soon so that was like tens of thousands previously now we're just missing a few hundred so we can keep changing these divisions so i don't need to worry about guns and yeah i don't think i'll need any horror i'm gonna like all the cavalry gets really bad really quickly so all the cavalry i want to replace eventually with um like other tanks or just regular infantry and I know we're gaining some army XP with this training we're doing, but it would also be a good idea. I think I'm going to get an army reformer, so we'll just gain. We're going to start gaining some XP in the background, and that'll be nice to have. And yeah, some of these people aren't trained. I'll just continue training them there. And I'll see if we have, yeah, we have some people still out in the country. Oh, I forgot to move everyone. So yeah, let me get uh, all these people here we won't need. So, yep, our entire Far East there, we'll just move them, uh, because, yeah, we have, there's no borders to guard there. And here, yeah, might as well, let's just switch them all before they head over. So we change these all to the good division, and off they go. And where exactly? I don't really care, just wherever. And we'll just keep converting divisions and hoping for the best. And then what I want, like, we can see if we're missing any. So, yeah, we still have two cavalry divisions somewhere. Uh, looks like we got rid of all the military police ones, so that's nice. And the second Moscow trial. Okay, so this is like, we're losing people from our government. We're using people that could be useful, but that's kind of unavoidable. It's just, 
such a giant country, they have a giant amount of opinions, I guess, and it just causes some problems, but I guess just killing everyone who disagrees with you is one way to solve it, so we'll just keep doing that. And I'll keep rushing down that side of the tree. And then once, yeah, like, this is annoying. I don't like dealing with the paranoia, but if you manage it well, like, if you just rush it, don't let it get out of control, then uh, hopefully some people can be kept alive. So that's the case right now. And I think I sent some people to Stalingrad. Yes, they are. The Great Migration. It's so beautiful to watch. And what is this? Okay, yeah, so those are horses there. Oh, I think they... Are they marching? Oh, no, they're taking the train. Okay. That'd be a long walk. So, yeah, I see that one cavalry there. We'll just change all these. Perfect. And, like, I've been changing it, so now we're short a thousand guns, but that's... So it would have... We would have broken even. We would have... Would have went under, but we'll be fine. And it says we have... Some of our sub productions are out of date, but, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, that's... I'll just let them keep building. That's fine. I do need... We'll need convoys. Like, that's... We have none, and it's awful, so... I'll put two on, just start getting those built. And this is all beautiful. Yeah, it says we're short, a bunch of tanks, like that kind of sucks, but these are... We'll make more. These are kind of early, early on in the tank world. And, yep, I believe these are anti-tank guns, so it's all coming out. And, oops. Yeah, we could disband them and just retrain them, but I want to have something to work with. So this will be... The ones with the, like, my basic infantry will be changing these, but this is, like, a good... We can have a bunch of these in the background as, like, a spare reserve if things go horribly wrong. Just, this is, like, my Stalingrad division, I guess, but it's not great, but acceptable. And I see we have a ton of fuel. We've got... We are full of fuel, so we can start burning some of that. I think, uh... Here, let's just move everyone to Moscow here. I believe we have strategic bombers, but we're not making them. Yeah, so I'll send the strat bombers... Can just go off to the Urals and because yeah, it would, that would be a terrible idea to use those. They would all just get shot down. So, but we have these little fighters, and those will be. We'll need those, and we we don't really need to control. Like Germany's going to be very favored. They're going to have a great air force, so we don't need to control the skies. We just need to make it so that it's really tough for like the, they'll be wasting a ton of fuel and stuff. So that'll be good. And you notice, yeah, I'm not bothering with the Spanish Civil War. I'm just like we could. I'm sure we could help out um, like the non. I guess, yeah, like, we could make their, turn the Republicans into communists, and that would be better for us, and then we'd have another front here. But it's not really necessary, like, it's that's a neat thing to do in the future, but we won't do it now, it's fine. So, this is beautiful. So now we need to wait uh, another 170 days before going further down, so we'll start with this. This will lower our paranoia, gives us some free factories, so let's just do it. And what is, okay, so we'll get a bit less stable, but that's fine. Yeah, we're, we're good for stability now, and... War support can be improved in other ways. And very nice. So, yep, now we're in 37, so that was two things down there. So let's do all this industry stuff, because we're going to need to work on that. And let me add one to these, uh, you know, might as well. So we'll start building one of these anti-tanks, and maybe I'll take one off of guns, because we're doing well there. Conspiracy in the Academy. Okay, so I let things get out of hand. I let the paranoia get too high. And now, see, it's above 25%. Things are going wrong. So now what is this? Is this in the military academy? Oh, it's just the Air Force. Okay. So basically, it's like we can have... Uh, yeah, we can we can hurt our Air Force a bit. Like in this case, they'll go a bit slower, so that's all bad. But we'll lose some paranoia. Or we could spend political power and gain paranoia. And right now, yeah, I kind of let it go a bit out of hand. So we'll have to... Um, We'll have to take the ding for the Air Force there, but we can get rid of that eventually. So that's, yeah, if you let it go above 25, those are some of the bad things that can happen. But we'll still be okay. And Spain relocates the gold reserves. Hmm, so yeah, maybe it's a, it's not a bad thing that they're losing that war there. Yeah, let's see here. So yeah, it's kind of playing too fast, but I think uh, we'll have another more reduced here. And what is this? So this, what is this here? I think if we, um, another bourgeoisie enemy meets his end, like, we can either make the Chinese hate each other, so the communists might go to war with China, but that would kind of mess up things. I'm playing historical. I want Japan to be stuck in China for years and years. I want them to burn all their equipment there, so we won't need to worry about them. So I'll just, I'll pick the safe option here, and then, um, 
yeah, so they'll be best friends when the war happens. And yeah, that's not at all, like, they will be at war eventually, but we need them, they'll be best friends for a bit, so. They'll fight the same enemy, at least. They'll be co-belligerents. And I'm seeing all these people train, so let's just pull them off, that's great. I'm not, yeah, so there's, where's some more people who are untrained, I'll just add them in. And this is, we've got a ton of, so let's, we're at a uh, million two hundred thousand people. That's a good start, yeah. I think maybe, I don't know what's like the most ideal number is, but I'm thinking like maybe three million-ish when we get invaded would be pretty good. Like the fascist bleed for every tile. And what is this? We have 35 days. This is 35 days. All right, let's do it. And I think my paranoia just decreased. So, yeah, that's perfect. And what was gaining at uh, plus 2% is now 3%. So, it's like we need to take care of that ASAP, basically. And all this getting better. Very nice. Yeah, we're looking good for tanks. I could even make some better tanks eventually. This is looking nice. Armored trains, that'd be good. We're going to be getting our trains bombed. So, the quicker those go out, the better. And how's everyone here? Everyone here is trained. Beautiful. So I, I have, I'm not even thinking about how I'm going to organize these people yet, because we're going to need, um, like, the front line's going to change. We're going to get a chunk of Poland. We're going to get the Baltic. So there's some neat stuff we can do there. And I'm just letting the... Um, got some power to spend here. So I think uh, infantry equipment, that's a good one there. Um, Earnhardt, that's too bad. And perhaps an industrial concern, yeah. The Stalingrad Tractor Factory. That I don't even care what it does, we're taking that, yeah. I think, in this case, it's, like, worse. Yeah, it's, like, we need to... I don't even... That's a good... I like... I like Stalingrad Tractor Factory. We want to support them. And they won't... Hopefully, they'll just be working and not have to... They can just remain in the factories and not be given a gun to fight the Germans right outside it. So... What do I want here? The Com Intern. This is making a faction... Oh, no. Okay. So we just waited there. So now it's blocked out. I just press play. And it should... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So yeah, the German-Soviet Treaty. It's like... Okay, it's like, do you want good things or do you want bad things? Like, we want good things. So in this case, yeah, we get some free bonuses for research. That's awesome. I mean, I guess we could... It's like Germany's going to be invading us. Yeah, but also, like, free stuff. So that's good. We'll be killing them all anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter. And this is all beautiful. I believe I bought some planes here to have them to... Yeah. It's going to get them to practice their flying. And the strap bombers. Yeah, I won't I won't bother with the strap bombers. We'll just send them off here. And yeah, they'll be filled eventually. You can we'll just hang out here with the old ones. That's fine. And I'm still like... Russia has a ton of fuel, so... Yeah, we've got a bunch to burn. So maybe, yeah, these boats too. We'll get them exercising. And, yeah, like, I won't even bother researching the extra fuel for a while. It'll be so good there. So, 37. Yeah, radars. Those will be nice. And, trial of the generals. So, yeah, we lose, uh, lose a bunch of generals. So that sucks, but, oh, well. Gotta do it. And now, let's see here. So, is this we have... Okay, we just have one more. So, we have 175 days, and then we're good. So, what's this here? Behead the snake. Excellent. Yeah, this will, uh, we can uh, assassinate Trotsky eventually, and this will just get him out of the country, so that's great. Let's do that. Perfect. And now, yeah, paranoia back at zero, and when it gets too high, we can forge those uh, production reports again, so we're doing great. This is awesome. And more political power. I don't, we're only on volunteer only, and we've got a million people in the field, or a million manpower to work with, so that's, uh, we don't need to bump it up yet, but we'll do that eventually. And let's see. I'm so I'm, I've got some army XP rising in the background there. I think it would be a good idea. Air safety expert. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I just want to get some XP ticking up there, so that'll be nice. And who is this? So yeah, we can actually see how many of those divisions there. Okay, so yeah, there's still a cavalry one hanging out there somewhere. Yeah, this is perfect, so I believe, yeah, it should be at zero there. And we've still got some time to prepare, uh, yeah, got some time to do some other stuff. So, what is this? The agit prop that gives us propaganda campaigns. That's pretty neat. Um, this is all cool, yeah. 
gives us more operative slots, but it'll increase the paranoia. I'll do the common term. Yeah, so this will give us more political power and just uh, the lead to some neat things like absorbing the Baltics. Beautiful. So we are moving along. Better artillery, sure. Let's see how we're looking for everything. So yeah, now we have 20,000 guns. We have, so yeah, now we're looking really good. Short on tanks, though, so maybe you put a couple on that. And what is it? Yeah, we'll add one. Uh... Yeah, this will be good for guns now. So yeah, now we're actually making the anti-tanks. That's great. We have trucks. Support equipment. Beautiful. And I want to see... I'm going to start training people ASAP. And it's going to start with these divisions here. So let me just make a bunch here. And yeah, I'll start with 24, sure. And get those new trains. Beautiful. I think these are... Uh... Hmm, I'm kind of limited in my research lot. So I don't want to waste one there. Yeah, this looks good. Make some better planes. And beautiful. So when can we do this? We have 70 days. Sounds good to me. So I'll try to find a 70 day one here. That'd be cool. 35. Oh, we could just do 235. So what do I want here? We don't need... Yeah, I'm not going to bother sending any advisors to Spain. I think um, we have a ton of... This is all... Like we can get a, our research slot, all our home economy stuff. So I think we can do these. 35 days each. Let's just start with that. This one gives us a bunch of free infrastructure. That would be, I think that's preferable over the civilian factories because the infrastructure, hopefully it'll land on some of the places where we're building these. And you can see now it was, we were only building two. Now we've got four things building and it's just going to keep getting better and better. So this looks, this looks insane. This looks like a ton of civilian factories and it is, but uh, it'll, like the worst is done. Now it's just going to keep snowballing. So we'll uh, just keep, keep that going in the background. Yeah, in the meantime, modify government. So, can't go to war economy. I was researching some uh, aircraft stuff, so might as well. What can I get here? MIG? Yes! Got those MIGs in the sky. Conspiracy in the academy. Okay, so what is this now? Okay, so yeah, we let it get too high there, but that's, uh... What is this? In the navy? Okay, so yeah, that's fine. This will take care of it. Yeah, you might have to do some more stuff again, but that's, uh... Very beautiful. And so now we have uh, still more current days, 105. Okay, so we still have some time there. Let's do heavy industry, sure. And this is all great. Let's see. Okay, so more of them not trained. And then I'll think of, uh, yeah, maybe next episode I'll start looking like designing some new divisions. Because I know we can do a lot better. And yeah, all these old military police divisions, we don't need them. And apparently I still have a horse division somewhere, but not sure where it is. And yep, we'll just keep on training everyone. Who's up here? Oh, there's my horse division. Okay, so yeah, I had some folks here. We can keep them here, that's fine. Change them all. Because we will, um... We have a port there we can guard, so that'll be a good idea. And what have we here? We have 35 more days, so what is this? 70 days. Okay, so that's too bad. I think, uh, 35 days. So what'll this do here? Increases the cap? So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, we can just do that, sure. Start with the military stuff. And then, yeah, this should be a good spot to wrap up the video, so... Well, yeah, I guess I'll just let this progress. And then, um, yeah, next video we'll be getting rid of that, um, all the Great Purge nonsense. So right here, okay, it's 31 again, so I'll, I'm going to forge some production reports, and then we should be fine. So we didn't really, we could have uh, maybe avoided a couple of those events, but overall this is still really good. And we are now in 38, so that means another year of research stuff. We'll start with uh, quicker research speed. And we can move on to better radars. Yeah, that'll be good. And now, yeah, getting some... Uh, what is this here? So I think for the first... Uh, 
first I'll get the professional officer course. So I'm going to gain more military XP in the background. And then I we should really have a lot to work with. Along with uh, 10,000 guns. Okay. And that's after I've trained 200,000. And this is done. Sure. And how are we looking here? Alright, so yeah, I'll wrap up the video now. Uh, if you enjoy the content, like and subscribe. Next video, yeah, we'll be getting rid of... Continuing to prepare our armies and stuff. Getting rid of the Great Purge. So I will see you all next time.